Hello, and welcome to This Month in Data Dog, where we'll update you on our latest features, product announcements, events, and more. This episode, we're spotlighting Datadog LLM observability, which now enables you to monitor your Google Gemini applications. We're also covering a new feature for viewing and searching for error tracking issues across RUM, APM, and logs, new metrics for assessing teams' effectiveness at responding to threats, and retrying or redriving failed AWS step functions executions directly from Datadog. But before we get to those, we've got a couple of blog posts to share with you. Our first post is a close look at Kubernetes operators and Helm charts. Both are used to deploy and manage applications within Kubernetes clusters, but it can be difficult to know which one to use. We break down their strengths and use cases to help you decide. The second is a walkthrough of how we use Datadog to save over $17 million annually on our cloud spend. Learn how Datadog fosters an engineering culture that builds excellent, efficient products and how we rely on those products. You can find these posts and more on our blog, which we'll link to in our video's description. And now, on with the show. Kicking things off is unified error tracking. Datadog error tracking groups similar errors together to reduce noise and help teams prioritize remediation efforts. Whereas users could search for browser, mobile, and backend issues separately, now, Unified error tracking enables you to view and search across RUM, APM, and logs all in one place. With this new feature, teams get a single source of truth for errors across front and back ends of their applications and services. Unified error tracking is available to all customers today. Next, our brand new security operational metrics. Located on the pre-built CloudSim Overview dashboard, Security operational metrics help you assess a team's effectiveness at responding to threats by capturing their mean time to detect, acknowledge, and resolve. Additionally, you can create dashboards and monitors for these metrics and use tags to filter them by team, source, and environment. Check out security operational metrics today on the CloudSim Overview Dashboard and learn more by visiting our docs. Rounding out our segment is a new feature that enables you to retry or redrive failed step functions executions directly from within Datadog. AWS Step Functions is a serverless orchestration service that enables you to create application workflows in the cloud. On top of using Datadog to monitor step functions, now you can retry executions or redrive them from failed steps right from within the serverless UI. Not only does this feature reduce the need to manually document the Amazon resource name of failed executions, but it also reduces the time to remediate errors. Users who monitor step functions with Datadog can take advantage of this new feature today. That was just a sneak peek of the many features we released this month. For a full list, visit the link shown. This month, we're putting the spotlight on Datadog LLM observability, which now enables you to monitor Google Gemini apps. Here's Shri to tell you more. Thanks, Jeremy. Hi, I'm Shri Subramanian, and I'm a product manager at Datadog. Organizations today are racing to adopt LLMs as part of their product offerings. And increasingly, they're using a variety of models such as Google Gemini and Azure OpenAI. Understanding the performance of these models is critical. And more importantly, having an observability solution that provides deep visibility into these models is essential. Today, I'm excited to announce Datadog LM Observability's native integration with Google Gemini. Our integration can automatically capture the LLM requests your application makes to Gemini's models, and our end-to-end -end tracing capabilities help you understand the behavior of LLM applications. The LLM-specific details captured include model parameter settings, such as temperature, system context, and the input and output of these LLM requests. Datadog LLM observability does three key things. Debug and troubleshoot the LLM request path of your applications, helping you understand the root cause of unexpected responses and latency bottlenecks. Two, monitor the operational performance of your LLM applications, by tracking key LLM metrics, such as model latencies, error rates, and token consumption. And finally, evaluate the performance of your LLMs for quality and safety issues. 
As you implement more sophisticated prompting techniques and chain components, your LLM applications will become more complex, making it more challenging to identify the root cause of issues or unexpected outputs. Datadog LLM Observability collects traces capturing the full end-to-end -end context about how your applications process the initial request to generating the final response. LLM Observability also collects aggregate insights about the latencies of your LLM calls and token count and provides out-of-the-box dashboards. By setting alerts on these errors and latency metrics, you can keep your team informed about the performance and availability of your application and help them take action more swiftly to limit the scope of outages. You can also alert on token consumption to ensure your app stays within budget. Now, even if your LLM application is performing well from an operational standpoint, you must still evaluate its responses for factual accuracy and user sentiment. LLM observability provides out-of-the-box evaluations to help you monitor the quality and safety of your application's output. With evaluations such as failure to answer, negative sentiment, topic relevancy, prompt injection, you can now stay on top of any quality and safety issues affecting your LLM application. Datadog LLM Observability's native integration with Gemini is generally available today. And now, back to Jeremy. Thanks, Shree. Before we go, we're excited to share our latest State of Cloud Security report. We analyze security posture data from thousands of organizations to build upon our previous findings and add new insights, such as the proportion of managed Kubernetes clusters that are exposed to the internet. Read about this finding and more by checking out the 2024 edition of Datadog State of Cloud Security Report, which is live on our website. We'll also include a link to the report in our show notes. And that wraps up today's episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. See you next month.